Hey guys, welcome to this new video and in this video, I'll be checking out some Power BI interview questions asked in Deloitte. Okay, so I'll be telling you what questions they have asked and how you can answer them and also the use cases. So every time you have to tell the answer, you have to tell with the use case. Okay, so first is like self introduction. So you can introduce yourself clearly and confidently here. The tip is to highlight your skills like Power BI DAX, power query and showcase interest in the learning. Okay. The number second question is like, which visuals you have used in your project. So you can use different type of visuals. So I have uh, kept like bar column charts uh, to compare the data. Pi donor charts is for percentage distribution, line charts, trend over time, cards is to show KPIs, maps is for geographical data. So use case here is like in a sales dashboard, I have used a bar chart to show product wise sales, a line chart for monthly revenue trends and a map to display regional sales performance. So I've, you have to structure your answer in this format. Okay, describe your client project. So I have already told in my other uh, other video, like you can describe your project according to the star method. If you haven't checked that video, I will suggest that uh, check that video and you will be getting like how you can structure your answer in a star format. Okay, so you have to tell project objective, the role and the outcome. So for example, I worked on a project for an e-com client to create a sales dashboard. My role was to gather data from the SQL server, clean it using Power Query, create visuals to show top selling produ products, customer demographics and monthly revenue. This help the client identify pro profitable products and focus on high performance regions. Okay, so I'll be giving you this PDF document also in free of cost. Okay, so if you want this, please watch this video till the end. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I will recommend please subscribe to this channel because I'll be posting more of a podcast and more of this type of interview questions and answers uh, in this channel. Okay, so if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to this right now. And also if your friends are preparing for Power BI interviews, please share this video with them. So next question is that what were your roles in the project? Okay, so roles can include data extraction and transformation, creating data models, writing DAX formulas, designing dashboard, sharing reports securely. So you have to give your project workflow in this question. Okay, key components of Power BI service. There are workspaces to organize and manage reports. There are data sets, the data source used in the reports, reports as you all know uh, and the dashboards and the apps apps is like a package dashboard and report shared with users okay so i published a report on a customer analysis to power bi service shared it with my stakeholders and embedded it into a workspace for team collaboration okay so you have to give answer in a structured format like i have given the example here difference between dates between decks and dates in period okay so dates between uh, returns the dates between two specific dates as the name suggests. So you can write like dates between date uh, table date and uh, you will give the date as 2023 20, and from which date to which date you want uh, the dates in between. Okay. And dates in period, it will be like uh, returns a range of date from a start date. Okay. So for example, you have to show sales uh, from the last 90 days. So you can use dates in period um, date column today minus 90 comma day because day because we have to give 90 days. Okay. How do you use row, row level security? So this is very important question. You have to know uh, what it uh, takes to get into a row level security, how you can manage RLS roles. Okay. So RLS restricts data visibility for users based on roles. Example in a sales report, RLS ensured that each regional manager could only see their regional data. Okay. So we cannot show every data to every regional manager the regional manager should see only their regions data. So for that we have created RLS. Uh, so I created a region filter in the Power BI service and I assigned users to the respective roles. Do you have access to a premium Power BI account? So you have to tell the difference between the pro account and a premium account here. So pro account is used for basic sharing and collaboration and premium supports large data sets, paginated reports and advanced features like AI insights. Okay. So in my organization, we used a pro account 
for report sharing but premium was used for handling data sets over 1 gb so you have to tell like this explain bookmark with example so bookmarks are save a report view page basically it will save uh, the reports view at that point of time okay example i use bookmarks in a sales dashboard to switch between top products and top region views uh, with the help of a button okay so you can tell uh, with an example what is cardinality and its type uh, so cardinality is basically defines the relationship between the tables this is very important question and you should know what are different type of cardinalities like one to one so one record matches with one record it it is called one to one cardinality one to many is like one record matches multiple records and many to many like many records in one table match many records in another table so in an e-commerce report one customer dimension was linked to many orders through one to many relationship so you have to tell an example also in your project according to your project what are dimensions and facts table so dimension table is like content descriptive attributes like product and region fact table is basically stores measurable data like sales amount and quantity so in a sales dashboard the fact table kya kya hogi order id revenue while dimension table include product and customer okay so anything uh, which is like contains the descriptive attribute like product or region are called dimension table fact table basically stored measurable data like a numerical data like sales amount quantity everything else okay so data source and size in your project so let's the data source like if you have sql server excel okay uh, so example is like i used a sql server database for 2 million sales record and excel files for product details in a sales analysis report so you have to give the example also and also the size of how many records are there if pbix file is slow how to improve the performance so how you can optimize uh, the power bi performance so you can streamline the data by eliminating unnecessary fields you can summarize the data to enhance the processing speed use aggregations you can optimize dax calculations so you can improve calculations efficiency for faster reports and you can enable the incremental refresh okay so a sales dashboard was slow due to large data set i filtered unnecessary rows reduce the file size and improve performance by 30% so the, then the next question they can ask is how you can got to know that you have improved the performance by 30 percent so you can note uh, you can tell that i have uh, uh, i have like checked the report previously and now also like i am i have checked after optimizing it and so the loading time is reduced by 30 percent and that is also we have taken the customer feedback okay the 14th question is what is incremental refresh so uh, we in an incremental refresh it's only update only new or change data so you have to create two parameters here range start range end you have to introduce those two parameters okay and for for example for daily sales data only the latest day sales were refreshed saving time and resources 15th question is what is gateway and its type so there are two types of gateway in power bi personal gateway and on-premise data gateway personal gateway is for individual use and on-premise is like for team access okay uh, so a gateway connected to on-premise sql database to power bi service allowing live report update so what gateway do is it will connect your on-premise uh, ser uh, servers so where the data uh, the database is holding and your power bi service report so it's act like a bridge between those two type of joins in power bi they can ask you so there are uh, different type of joins like in sql inner join left join right join full outer join left anti and right anti join okay so you have to give them example to analyze sales and customer data i used a left join to ensure all customers were included even if they hadn't made purchases okay how do you handle data modeling in power bi so you can define the relationship example one to many use star schema for better performance and optimize tables with calculated columns and measures so how you handle data modeling you have to define the relationship use star schema and third is optimize tables the next question is type of filters in power bi 
so there are three types of filters in power bi one is like report level filter filter that apply to the entire report the second is page level filter filter that apply to a single page in a report and the other one is visual level filter filter that affects only one visual on a report so i use page level filter to display sales data by product category on each page okay what is the difference between calculated column and measures so calculated column is like uh, added directly to to a table calculated row by row used in visual as a field stored in a model uh, so basically it's it will be stored in a model that's why it will increase the file size so add a profit column so profit equal to sales uh, revenue minus cost and the measure is calculated dynamically during visualization optimized for performance not stored in a model that's why it will not take any space that's why it's recommended to use a measure okay every time so calculate total sales equal to sum of sales of revenue for a sales dashboard i used a calculated column for product categories and a measure to calculate total revenue this use case you can give to an interviewer how do you handle many to many relationship in power bi to resolve a many to many relationship we have to create a bridge table with unique key enable a many to many relationship in our data model so in a project tracking dashboard both employee and projects had many to many relationship i created a bridge table mapping employee id to project id so basically you have to create a one bridge table in between to uh, give like one to many from here and one to many from the other table what are slicers in power bi and they can also ask you uh, what is difference between slicers and filter okay so slicers are interactive filters used in the reports uh, so for example drop down checkbox and hierarchical slicers that you can give to a uh, users so that they can filter the data dynamically uh, at the runtime uh, when you show the report so in a sales dashboard i used a date slicer to filter uh, sales data by month okay explain the difference between power bi desktop and power bi service this is very common question guys and you have to give the example here like why you are using power bi desktop why you are using power bi service so power bi desktop is basically used for creating and developing reports work offline and also you can do the advanced data modeling in power bi desktop okay data modeling you cannot do uh, in a power bi service this uh, difference you have to tell to the interviewer power bi service is basically for collaboration purpose for sharing and collaboration cloud based and offer dashboards apps and schedule refresh so refreshes you can do through power bi service only i used a uh, uh, so basically schedule refresh you only have to do through the power bi service basically manual refresh you can do with the power bi desktop also use case i created a report in power bi desktop and published it to power bi service for team access and collaboration you can tell that what is star schema why it is important so star schema is a database structure with fact table uh, basically in between and the dimension table around it okay so advantages are is simplify the query improve the performance and easy to understand so in a retail dashboard the fact table is stored sales data and the dimension table include product details time and the customers okay what is power query how it is used so power query is a data transformation in power bi use cases clean transform and load data common operation is like removing the duplicates filtering rows merging tables all this come into power query how do you schedule data refresh in power bi so you have to publish the report to the power bi service you have to configure the gateway if your data source is on premise and you have to set up a schedule refresh uh, daily hourly based on your license also so if you have a pro license premium license based on that you can uh, define like what will be the frequency of the, those refresh so i schedule the daily refresh for a sales support to ensure the data is updated every morning for stakeholders what is difference between import and direct query so this is also very important question guys so import mode data is loaded directly into the power bi engine faster performance file size will increase because everything will be imported direct query it will fetch data directly from the source live updates but slower performance so for sales support i use direct query to connect to a sql database for real time update you can tell that what is the role of dax in power bi so dax as you all know data analysis expression is a formula language for creating a calculations in power bi 
used for measures, calculated columns and KPIs, common functions like sum, average, calculate, filter. Okay, so then they can ask you all these uh, different uh, common functions and example you can use like i've calculated the, the profit margin which is equal to divide and i've used the sum of sales of profit and sum of sales of revenue so i divided the profit by revenue to get the profit margin this you can tell in the dax example complex dax examples also you can tell that so what are kpis in power bi so kpis are like key performance indicator measure the progress towards the business goal example you can take that in a marketing dashboard i created a kpi to track the monthly website traffic like how much users are uh, um, there on our website in a monthly basis i used to track that through a kpi against the target what are limitations of Power BI? So Power BI have some limitations like limited file size, performance issue uh, when, when uh, whenever there is a large data set and we, when we used import data. Then we have the complex text expression and it will be very hard for beginners and lack of version control. So for version controlling, you have to use other tools like GitHub. Okay, so there is no uh, nothing as such in Power BI right now. I face performance challenges with large data sets, but resolve them using the aggregations and incremental refresh. So you have to tell the limitation and then how you overcome that. Okay. So what is the drill through? So drill through enables detailed analysis by navigation from summary to a detailed report. Okay. So guys, I will be giving you this document in the end. So if you want to take this document, please uh, take it and also read your, the answers yourself whenever you are preparing for a Power BI interview. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to it because it will give me motivation to get more videos. And also I'll be uh, hosting a podcast with other guests on my channel. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to it because more and more guests will come in the future about the data uh, analytics, data science and data engineering. So I'll be uh, hosting more podcasts there. Okay. So drill through example, you can tell that in a sales report, clicking on a region in a summary page, navigate it to a detailed page showing product wise sales. So if you click on a region in a summary page, it will navigate to a detailed page. So this is the example, basic example of drill through. What are advantage of using Power BI over Excel? So Power BI gives you interactive visuals, the data modeling like easier relationship building and DAX for advanced calculation is there. Collaboration like share reports you can do via Power BI service. What are drill down and drill up? So drill down is basically view more detailed data as I told and drill up is navigating back to the high level data. In a sales dashboard, I drill down from yearly sales to the monthly sales using a hierarchy. The next question is how do you handle null or missing values in Power BI? This is very classical example. Uh, okay. And very classical question they will ask you. Uh, then you can uh, how you can answer them is like replace null with meaningful values. For example, if there is null, you, you will replace in Power Query uh, with the zero. Remove rows with missing values. Okay. Use Power Query to handle the data cleaning. I replace null values with zero using Power Query to ensure accurate totals will be there. Okay. So all these questions they have asked you. This is like a age eight page document. I'll be giving you. I'll be posting. Uh, down um, how to download this document in the description so you can download it from my top mid profile and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to the channel because i'll be uh, giving you more interview questions how to prepare for it and also i'll be telling you time to time uh, in my community that how you can build your resume how you can find a job and everything if you haven't uh, follow me on linkedin also so i have a linkedin page uh, where i'll be posting more and more content on power bi and sql so if you are interested in my content please follow my linkedin profile as well i'll be giving you the link in the description for that uh, as well so thank you so much guys hope you have a nice day please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel also share this video uh, so that uh, many people can see that and also they can prepare for power bi interviews so if you have friends 
who are preparing for power bi interviews share to them it will be great help for them as well okay so thank you so much and all the best have a great day bye